Hey everybody, Cambodian food in Chicago is virtually non-existent, but about a month ago, I saw on Instagram a company called Mona Bella Catering. It's a mother and a daughter. The mother is a survivor of the Khmer Rouge. Her daughter has been working with Let Us Entertain You, and they've got space here at the Tree Studios building in River North. And so they've been using a renovated kitchen to recreate these dishes from back home, back in Cambodia. And I gotta tell you, they, some of the most delicious dishes from Southeast Asia I've ever had in Chicago. Mona Singh knew she had a responsibility to uphold when her mother, a survivor of the deadly Khmer Rouge in Cambodia in the late 1970s, told her she wanted to keep her catering business alive. And my mom was getting ready to retire and she said to me that, you know, she felt that she wasn't able to, you know, hand the catering on to me and that Chicago's not going to able to taste Khmer food and no one's going to know about our culture and our food. So one day I decided to just uh, take a piece of paper, write it down and start making up a menu. Singh began documenting her mom's recipes, which had never been written down. What is Cambodian food, you might ask? It's spicy and has a lot of different type of flavor. It has different notes of flavor. So it's not just salty, it's not just spicy or bitter. Khmer is more like the flavor is just pungent. A big reason is bahok, a fermented fish paste. So we use bahok in a lot of our dishes and it's basically fermented fish to give it that more authentic like Cambodian traditional taste. Ban chow will look familiar to fans of Vietnamese food. The delicate green onion rice crepe is cooked separately from the filling. In this case, she cooks ground pork bumped up with some fish sauce, nestling it into the cooked crepe with fresh bean sprouts. A side of fresh herbs and lettuce serves as a garnish along with the key component, fish sauce and chilies, covered with a generous amount of crushed peanuts. To eat, you simply make your own wrapping using lettuce, then dip into the fish sauce for an umami accent. The squash curry is definitely a Khmer creation, and besides the richness from coconut milk, the chicken is marinated for a couple of hours. It has chicken, has potatoes, has carrots, uh, sweet onions, basically marinated in our, our krum, which is has shallots, has uh, lime leaf in it, ginger, and then it's simmered in our coconut curry. Another fantastic dish using bahok is the bahok di, a dish with the consistency of chili, which is scooped up with the most colorful assortment of fresh vegetables. Sang says in order to produce these kinds of dishes, she and her mom are routinely up at 4 a.m. prepping everything fresh each day. Bahokti, it's ground pork, and that's marinated also in krum, which is, again, is garlic shallots, fish sauce, chili peppers, um, and that's stir-fried together, and we put a little bit of coconut broth in there, and we let that simmer for a little bit, top with our roasted peanuts and chili peppers. And here's the really exciting thing. At the end of May, they're going to start doing Khmer dinners from that kitchen up here at Tree Studios, but you've got to find out about it online. Go to Mona Bella Catering com for more information they also have an Instagram account but the website is the best way to find out when those dinners are going to be I for one want to be there hope you enjoyed today's video be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time everybody